If you're looking for a documentary to watch on Netflix, you have plenty to choose from. One might even argue that the overall quality of their original documentaries is better than their TV shows and movies. Coming up, I'll give you our picks for the top 10 Netflix documentaries that you can watch right now. In a change from last year's video, this countdown will only focus on the best original documentary films and docuseries which are exclusive to Netflix. With that out of the way, let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number 10 is The Bleeding Edge. This documentary film, released in 2018, was written and directed by Kirby Dick. Just like his other works, including The Invisible War, and this film is not yet rated, The Bleeding Edge does not pull any punches. It takes an eye-opening look into the $400 billion medical device industry. It examines the lack of regulation, corporate cover-ups, and the profit-driven incentives that put patients at risk daily. While some of the details are horrific, it's a must-see film that I highly recommend for everybody to watch. The Bleeding Edge includes powerful stories that are both informative and enlightening. In at number 9 is Conversations with the Killer, The Ted Bundy Tapes. This docuseries, spanning four episodes, premiered on January 24th, 2019, which so happens to be the 30th anniversary of Bundy's execution in Florida. The series is done chronologically, beginning with Bundy's early life up until his death. It includes the 1980 death row interviews with the serial killer himself, Ted Bundy. There are also interviews with his family and friends, surviving victims, and law enforcement members, along with archival footage, personal photos, and police evidence that give additional insight into Bundy's case. Coming in at number 8 is Fire, the greatest party that never happened. This 2019 documentary film gives a close-up look of the fraudulent fire festival of 2017, co-founded by Billy McFarland and the famous rapper Ja Rule. It was promoted as a luxury music festival on an island in the Bahamas with posh amenities and well-known musical performers. Let's just say that the reality for the arriving guests was not what was promised. In the number seven spot is Evil Genius the true story of America's most diabolical bank heist. Released in 2018, spanning four episodes, this true crime docuseries examines the crazy events leading up to and following the well-publicized 2003 bank robbery in Pennsylvania, where a pizza delivery driver literally had a bomb strapped to his neck. It's now known as the Pizza Bomber Case. Evil Genius features a strange cast of characters, including the so-called mastermind Marjorie Deal Armstrong and there are plenty of twists and turns. Switching gears to something completely different, Formula One Drive to Survive lands at number six. This 10-part documentary series premiered in March of 2019. It gives an inside look of the 2018 FIA Formula One World Championship. There's exclusive access to the drivers, team principals, owners, and other key players in Formula One. As a Formula One junkie, I couldn't wait to start each new episode. Even if you're not a fan of F1, it's worth watching. The behind the scenes interviews offered a different perspective and the audio engineers should be commended. Listening to each episode in true surround sound is pure ear candy. Formula One Drive to Survive has been renewed for a second season to premiere in 2020. In the number five spot is Icarus. This Academy Award winning documentary film by Brian Fogel was released in 2017. It follows Fogel as he investigates the world of illegal doping in sports. The story takes off when Fogel meets a Russian scientist who leads the Russian anti-doping laboratory. As Fogel and the scientist become friends, Fogel receives information that leads to an international doping scandal. Coming in at number four is The Staircase. This true crime docuseries first premiered in 2004 and has been broadcast on various TV networks internationally since then. It follows the trial of Michael Peterson, who was accused of murdering his wife, Kathleen, in North Carolina. In 2012 and 2013, the camera crew returned to interview Peterson and his family, covering developments in the case since the trial, with three new episodes being ordered by Netflix. In 2018, Netflix made all 13 episodes available in its catalog, now referring to the docuseries as a Netflix original. While there is some debate about the staircase being a true Netflix original, 
It's a fantastic docuseries that should satisfy just about any fan of the true crime genre. Now for the top three, and coming in at number three is Making a Murderer. The first season premiered in 2015 and was filmed over a 10-year period. It follows a Wisconsin man named Stephen Avery who served 18 years in prison for a wrongful conviction and was set free when the DNA was matched with another man. After getting out of prison, Stephen works to expose the corruption in the local law enforcement and again finds himself to be the prime suspect in a new crime. The second season premiered in 2018, which explores the aftermath following the conclusion of the first season. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Wild Wild Country. The six-part docuseries, released in 2018, is my personal favorite from this video. It's just a few votes shy of number one. Wild Wild Country is bat bleeping crazy. You'll have to see it to believe it. It's about the controversial Indian guru, Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, his followers, and his one-time personal assistant, Ma Anand Sheila. During the 1980s, they built the seemingly utopian city of Rajneesh Puram in a remote part of Oregon here in the United States. After which, there were assassination plots, a hotel bombing, illegal wiretapping, and at that time, the largest bioterrorism attack in U.S. history. I'll warn you right now, this is a highly addictive show that will have you hanging on every twist and turn through all six episodes. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Our Planet. This nature documentary series was released in 2019 and is from the same people who brought you the critically acclaimed Planet Earth. Our Planet is narrated by David Attenborough in English-speaking countries. In Mexico and Latin America, you get Salma Hayek. And in Spain, Penelope Cruz is your narrator. It was filmed in 50 countries over the course of four years. As you would expect, the visuals in Our Planet are stunning. There's a total of eight episodes covering the frozen tundras, deserts, the oceans, jungles, and everything in between. But the most interesting to me is the hour-long behind-the-scenes episode, which can be found in the Our Planet Trailers and More section on Netflix. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to find something new to watch, give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite Netflix original documentary? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest on Netflix and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.